This video will teach you how to remove your video background in CapCut and replace it with any preferred background of your choice like Dix, Dix or even Dix1. Let's assume you are making a video tutorial on YouTube or any platform where you need to explain a concept to people. You can as well resize your video while you explain to your audience. Then when you are done, you can export and have your video in the new background format. If you end up getting value from watching this video, please like, share and also subscribe. This video is actually two in one. The first part of this video teaches you how you can remove background from a video in CapCut using your smartphone, be it Android or iPhone. While the second part of this video teaches you same how you can do that using a PC or desktop. So if your interest is how to do it using a desktop, feel free to, you know, skip to the part of the video where I taught how to use PC or desktop to remove video background in CapCut in this timestamp here, okay? So, but for my own opinion, I think it's best you watch the full series, how you can do that on smartphone and on pc all right guys you must have downloaded CapCut application for pc if you don't know how to download it i made a separate video how you can download and install CapCut on your pc you can click on the link to watch the video before you continue with this video so i have my CapCut for pc downloaded and installed i'll go ahead and double click on it to open it all right here i need to click on new project you can see this plus icon here I'll click on it. Now you need to import the video project you want to work on. I'll click on import. Then I will navigate to the project. Then I'll click on open. All right, this is the video. So I'll go ahead and drag it on the timeline. Here, okay, you can see the video is playing right here. Now next, I need to import the video background I want to use. So I'll go ahead and click and you can see it have been imported as well. Remember you have dragged this video to the timeline. Now this is the background. But first of all, you need to remove this video background. To do that, select the video. Then on that video, you can see video, video tab is active here. You click on cutout. Now this is chroma key. You need to scroll down a little. You can see auto cutout. Only human figure can be cut out. So you need to check this box here. Then automatically by the right hand side, you can see processing 2%. And down here also, you can see applying auto cutout 5%. So we need to wait a little. This takes like two minutes, depending on the speed of your PC. All right, perfectly done. You can see the background has been removed if i play it you can see the video is playing without the background now we need to add our video background it can still be a photo okay but for this video i chose video background now to do that click on the video background you want to use it can be any of this okay let me choose this first i'll just click on it and drag it underneath Okay, so sometimes it might not go, but you just drag this one up so that it will be under. Do you see that? So this video have assumed the background of the video. Okay, so if I play this video right now, you can see that the background is playing while the video is at the top. Okay, so that's just that. If I want to add another video background, I can drag this one as well here. Cancel. Let me go again. Okay, so if I place now, it gets to this one. You can see that this one is covering the video. So you need to do one more thing. The video tab is active. Click on basic, scroll down. You can see layer is currently at two. Take it to layer one. So you can see that now. The video is at the background okay do that for this one too draw this one down to the timeline it does the same thing video basics then screw down 
layer one fine so if i play the video you can see that it's playing right when it gets to here it's playing so what i did is that um i tried to add some you know transitions in between the video backgrounds i can choose this i'll drag it to here I choose this one to drag it to here so that when it plays there will be a transition between the two videos backgrounds do you see that all right guys now for phone you must have downloaded your CapCut application either on play store or app store depending on the kind of phone you are using whether you're using android or iphone so after downloading the application tap on the application to open it click on new project now here you need to select first of all the background videos before the main video so i have three background videos i want to use for this tutorial i will check the three of them then i'll click on add now i have the three videos added to my timeline okay now it's time to add my main video the video i want to remove its background now to do that i'll click on overlay i'll tap on add overlay good now i will select my main video here all right i'll click on add all right so i will adjust the video so that it covers the background very well now it's time to remove the background of this video so having the video selected i will scroll to the left until I see remove BG, I will tap on it. Then I will tap on auto removal. Now we can see in seconds, the background of the video have been removed. So I'll click on this good mark here. Now, if I play the video, you can see that the video is playing on the background videos. Do you see that? Now, this is the second one here. It's playing. The third one is playing. So when you are done, you export your video and you will have your video in a new background. 